Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. As usual I have come up with a brand new tutorial on kinetic typography. I got this idea from Envato Elements, and I thought I should share this technique with you guys. This is very cool looking typography animation, and I will show you the easiest way to create that. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. So before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. And make sure to hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Alright, let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you like. Make the duration 10 seconds long. Now take the type tool, and type your text. Try to use some long text, so it covers a circle properly. Enable the fill for this text. Also align the text to the center. Now select the text layer, then take ellipse tool. Now draw a circle on the center. Hold Alt plus Ctrl plus Shift to make a perfect circle from the center. Press Alt plus Ctrl plus Home button, to center the anchor point. Open the text layer. Go to Path option, and select Mask 1. Now the text will appear on the circle. Turn on the Reverse Path option. Now it's time to adjust the text according to the path. For doing this, you can add more text or you can increase the size and gap between the text. This looks perfect for now. You can check these options for different look. We can animate this text using this first margin property. Let's add a keyframe on first margin, then go to end of the timeline. And change its value something like this. Try to make it one clock cycle. Nice. Rename this layer to text fill. Select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Rename it to text stroke. Also you can change the layer color. And change the text fill to text stroke. Now select the layer, and hold shift and drag this point to scale up and scale down perfectly. Select the top layer, and press U to see the keyframes. Select the keyframes, and just press delete button to delete them. We are going to rotate it in the different direction. First change the value randomly. Just try not to match it with the fill text. Now add a keyframe on first margin, then go to end of the timeline. And change its value to a negative value. Because we are going to rotate it anti-clockwise. Try to match the starting and ending position of the text. And the main part is done. Now just make copies of the layer, and place it one after another. One with only stroke, and one with only fill. Or you can place it in any other formats you like. It is completely your choice. But just make sure it looks good at the end. Perfect. Now select all the layers, and pre-compose them. Give it name you like. Let's add some zoom in effect to make it more awesome. Press S to open scale property. On 5 seconds, add a keyframe on scale. Then come back to first frame, and increase the scale value a little bit. You can place this keyframe at the end of the timeline if you want keep this effect till the end of your timeline.
Now go to Effects and Presets, and search for Glow. Apply it on the layer. Make the threshold value to 100%. And increase the glow radius value a little bit. Then search for tin effect. And apply it on the layer. From here you can change the color easily. Let's keep this color for now. But you can choose your own color scheme. You can do one more thing here, just make it cool a little bit better. Select the composition. And create mask in the center. Just like this. Change the mask type to subtract. Then press F to bring mask feather property, and increase the feather value. Just to make the end little bit blurry. And it's done, place it on a cool background, and it's ready for use. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next week, till then have fun, and stay safe.